Hello everyone, Storm11 here. Today we'll be taking a look into my April 2020 forecast. We'll be taking a look into my forecast, of course. But we're also going to take a look at uh, the Climate Prediction Center's forecast. And also I want to show you guys something that's going to be uh, really going to be a big factor uh, to April. And pretty much the rest of the season. And let's go ahead and get started with my forecast here. And as you can see here. Again, the cold air is starting to shift more to the north than it is to the west. The warm air is a little bit more, a little bit more further to the south. So, what is this kind of indicating? Well, that uh, the severe weather potential is kind of moving, it's kind of shifting a little bit further to the east. Uh, it's also it's changing the storm track as well a little bit, but. Uh, for the west, it will get to be equal chances, which it means um, you can either see some slightly below average temperatures, or you can see some slightly above average temperatures. More of, or you can say it's average. That's the same thing for portions of the plains into the Great Lakes, and even for the northeast. Across the south, pretty much along the Gulf Coast states, or the coast, is going to be above average. That may continue to stretch it to the east coast of like South Carolina and maybe even eventually reach it to North Carolina because those waters right now are warming up. And I'll show you guys that very quickly. Look how warm these waters are right now. You're, it started to get up to like 3.6 degrees Celsius above average, even reaching to about 5 degrees above average. Um... You also see some warming just off the coast of Maryland, Delaware, and New Jersey. Another area for the Florida, the Carolinas coast as well. The northeast is starting to warm up a little bit as well. A little bit above average, nearly about 1.2 degrees above average. So this what is, this is indicating is that we're gonna, you're going to have some above average temperatures here. So there's probably going to be some ridging right in there. And it seems like it's going to stay that way. For a while, it's also that could be a good sign for the hurricane season, which I'll be for a different video, which a lot of other people's been mentioning about that. And that's also going to contribute to, um, since the Gulf of Mexico is going to be warmer, it's also going to be uh, the dew points are going to be higher as well. So, whatever store, uh, when the Gulf of Mexico is open for moisture going north, it's really going to increase the severe weather threat. So, and with this cold air in place across the north, right in between here, these equal chances, like Kansas, Missouri, Illinois, Indiana, maybe even Iowa, might reach that further north, which it already has not too long ago. But it can also include some areas in the slightly above average, which could be a little bit worse there. And you can also see here there's below average temperatures across Montana, the Dakotas, and Minnesota. That's uh, below average temperatures for like Washington, Idaho, Wyoming, portions of Nebraska, Iowa, and Wisconsin, and Upper Michigan. The slightly above average uh, temperatures does include uh, portions of the uh, Mid South, the Desert Southwest portions of that, the Mid Atlantic, the Ohio Valley, and the Tennessee Valley. As well, even for the lower Mississippi Valley as well. So that is your temperatures. Now, what really is going to get things really a lot together is the precipitation. You can already notice it across the Tennessee Valley, the lower Ohio Valley, portions of the Mid South. Look at that above average precipitation there. And with that warmer than average temperatures there, with colder than average temperatures not too far behind. That's going to be uh, some bad news for those people. And those are the areas that have already hit hard by severe weather so far in the season. It looks like it's not letting up uh, for April. But to the west here, as you can see here, BA means below average precipitation. The SBA means slightly below average precipitation. It's going to be very noticeable across the northwest, or at least for the coast. California looks like it'd be all right, except for the northern portions of California. The desert southwest, uh, at least for the eastern portions of it, more of western Texas, New Mexico, and southeast um, Arizona. And that's going to be where you're going to be seeing some slight below average precipitation. 
Well, so the Rockies should be equal chances there. And as you can see here, in the Northern Plains, the Midwest, the Great Lakes, we're going to be slightly above average precipitation where you have multiple systems going by there. And um, you can also see here, uh, portions of the Atlantic, equal chances, same thing for around Florida. Below average, slightly below average precipitation across the Northeast as well. And um, that's your precipitation forecast overall. And let's go into the overall forecast. There's a lot of stuff on here, so let's go from west to east. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, as you can see there again, the desert, uh, uh, not desert, the northwest, at least along the coast, look to be pretty dry. That light blue area is average. <coughs> and um, that yellow there, that's going to be a flip-flop pattern. That means there's going to be... Um, so flip-flops in the temperatures, like there's going to be times where it's going to be slightly above average, just there's going to be sometimes they could get below average, so it's kind of flip-flop. It also includes Nevada and portions of Arizona. Mountain snow will linger in the Rockies, at least for like Idaho, Montana, Utah, Wyoming, and Colorado. We've got to keep an eye for some more mountain snow that will still continue in April. This dark blue area here, that is going to be cold air. There's also, there could be still be snow around across the northern plains as you get those systems that can go by, um, kind of like this here. You can see here, it kind of really follows along, but um, those systems might just have enough cold air for potentially some snow still lingering up across the north across the northern plains. Now it's it's possible, it's not guaranteed, but it's possible later this month probably at least the early and mid portions of april will there will probably still be a chance for snow up there this kind of purple area and i mean it's cool uh basically it just means really just cool weather and all this stuff so it's pretty good weather there overall is what that means this orange area here it's gonna be warm it, it can sometimes be hot across southern texas there as well uh just warmer than average temperatures average precipitation well it will be drier across new mexico arizona and portions of texas you know overall it's just going to be pretty warm now this light green area up here that's going to be wet and stormy at times where you have multiple systems going by and in the red area when you're in between the cold air and the warm air masses you also got above average precipitation place that's where we're going to see uh some above average severe weather and that's and again some of those very similar areas that already got hit hard by severe weathers. You know, it seems like it's not gonna be letting up anytime soon for April. At least the early earlier portions of April looks to be okay, but mid and late doesn't look that good. Kinda similar to March. At least April is kind of looking kind of similar to uh what we had in March, kind of similar patterns here and stuff. The dark green area that is going to be stormy weather, just a lot of rain and some storms that will go by. It's pretty much it for that area. That includes uh, portions of Ohio, West Virginia, Virginia, the Carolinas, Georgia, Alabama, Mississippi, Arkansas, arching back into Oklahoma and northern Louisiana. This light green area here that is going to be warm and humid. It's going to be very warm and humid, more like summertime weather. Uh, down across the south there, especially for those warmer Gulf of Mexico waters. It's going to be very warm and pretty humid down there. In our last area, which is the northeast here, we'll kind of zoom in here. It's going to be chilly early, but it's also going to be a warmer and drier end. Uh, so, basically, well, it's kind of straightforward. Chilly early, the models have been really indicating it'll be pretty chilly up there. Pretty early, and then it'll be turning a little bit warmer, and it'll also be getting drier towards the end of the month of April. Now, that's my overall forecast there. So, uh, the areas you probably really want to focus is the severe weather area. And, you know, there's going to be times where it'll be kind of outside the severe weather area, like maybe the Midwest again. Or it could be across the south in that stormy area. It's possible for severe weather in those areas, but most of the severe weather looks to be staying in that red area. Let's take a look into the climate 
predict your center's outlook. Now, keep in mind, this is updated back in March 19th, so I'm expecting him to update this again at some point, and it's probably going to be a little bit of a major change as well. As you can see here, the cold air is very weak. I think that's a little too weak uh, for the common prediction center, but you can also see here there might be some ridging in place across in the northeast there, which is... I want you guys to be seeing some warmer than average temperatures, and unfortunately, that snow will melt wherever it's left up there. As you can also see here, some above average temperatures along the Gulf Coast states there, and even stretching into portions of the desert southwest. Kind of very similar to what I have in here. So, I do agree with the SCPC across the south here, even for portions of the east, but the northeast, too warm and um, a little bit too warm across the north here what i mean by too warm that means is uh <clears throat> i don't know how to put that in but there should be more cooler air in here for a lot more areas so now precipitation here um i do agree with the northwest air being drier the mall has been a really good agreement with that there's also going to be some above average precipitation across the southeast. And I don't think it's going to be that too far to the south. Um, when you kind of look back into the temperatures here, it's a little warmer there. And, but what I can tell, it seems like the storm track might be something like this here indicated for the CPC, which is not good, especially when it's far south. That's not good for severe weather. And... Um, Going back here, above average precipitation across Iowa, Nebraska, northern Missouri. Um, and then very light green, which is a 33 to a 40% chance of being above average. So it's kind of low end chance, but I'm expecting this to change more as well. And um, But it's also not showing drier than normal conditions across the Deaf Southwest and the Northeast. The malls have been really good agreement for the Northeast being drier. Uh, kind of going back and forth a little bit for the desert southwest, but I think it could still be a little drier because after looking into some modeling, uh, it doesn't look like much of any systems will be going by there anytime soon. But anyways, guys, this is all I got for you guys today. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this April 2020 forecast. If you do, if you guys still like this forecast, you know, like hit that like button. If you already do like my channel, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell notification so you never miss an upload. If y'all guys got questions about this, you can put a comment section down below. I will answer your guys' questions. I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.